Hey, so in this video, I'm going to show you a free and simple way to get a good estimation of the value of a small business. So a little bit of background first. Uh, my name is Adam Hooksema. I'm the owner of Projection Hub, and we help uh, small businesses create financial projections for potential investors and lenders. And a lot of times what we're working on are small business acquisitions where we'll help create financial projections uh, for a buyer of a small business and, and and part of that acquisition process is what's the value of the business and, and that valuation approach and so we often get asked about you know how should i determine if the seller is giving me a good valuation for the for the business i'm looking at and what's the sba lender going to think about the valuation and so i wanted to just provide a quick and simple tool and data source that I think will be uh, really valuable in helping you understand what's a good, reasonable valuation for a small business that you're looking at. So we're gonna go to uh, Biz Buy Sell, and I'm gonna put a link to this uh, page in the description of the video below, but it is a page on Biz Buy Sell that they update on a regular basis. And Biz Buy Sell is a marketplace where you can list a business for sale, and they track whether those businesses have sold and what the price is has been so they have a really good rich set of data on industry multiples for all sorts of different industries so let me let me kind of show you what this looks like so what you can see here is average revenue and earnings multiples by sector and so what i love to do is if i'm looking to try to understand whether the valuation of a small business is reasonable i try to find the most relevant industry in this long list so they've got i don't know maybe 75 different industries here and what you'll what you'll see uh, let's just take a look up here so let's look at a auto repair and service shop the earnings multiple here and the earning earnings is going to be probably the seller's discretionary earnings the sd so the multiple is 2.79 times sde or 0.63 times revenue. So if revenue is a million dollars for an auto repair shop, you're probably going to pay 630,000 for a auto repair shop with a million dollars in annual revenue. Or if the profitability was a hundred thousand dollars, if the earnings was a hundred thousand dollars for the shop, you'd be paying 279,000. So you just take that hundred thousand times 2.79. So what you'll be able to see here is there's there's variation in terms of these multiples. You can see an example here, car washes at a earnings multiple of five. And so why would a car wash have a higher multiple than an auto repair shop? Um, that's really gonna be related to the how passive that income might be. So a car wash business is, it can be very passive. And so people, owners are willing to pay more for passive earnings. So yeah, you'll get a whole whole set of different industries and their different earnings multiples. You can see nail salons, pretty low multiple, 1.6 times earnings for a nail salon. Um, so anyway, I hope this tool has been helpful. Uh, this data set has been helpful. I think it's been really helpful for a lot of clients that I work with. Um, so if you have any uh, questions about what's a reasonable multiple for your business and the answer isn't found here, feel free to reach out to us at support at projectionhub.com. If you need help with a set of financial projections, that's what we do. And so we'd love to help you with that. We'll put a link to our acquisition projection template down in the description of the video below as well. So you can uh, grab that if you think that'd be useful to you, or if you'd like us to help you fill that out, just let us know. All right, thanks.